What's up, everyone? Happy New Year. Welcome back to another top 10 best list for 2023. Of course, today we have the brand on the channel we adore the most is G.I. Joe Classified. We just did a G.I. Joe Classified best of stream and it knocked the socks off. Everybody go check that out. I had Bali locks of punk with toys and bees battlegrounds. I also have been reviewing some of these figures and also did some ranking videos, Dreadnoughts, Cobras, and Joes. Of course, go check those out for further reviews. But for now, here is the top 10 best G.I. Joe Classified of 2023, according to Moo D. Diving in with the honorable mentions, it's the Cobra Eel. And I've expressed my opinion on this. It is my favorite army builder for Classified for the year. It was also my favorite army builder as a kid this eel didn't go in without its issues most memorable or not so memorable this damn backpack i mean most of them i just cannot get to peg in and of course it's going to peg in perfectly even without the blue tack because i'm doing a video definitely awesome out of the box it was in the amazon aka ebay exclusive really hard to get but it definitely knocked it out of the water park there but Bettering up the SeaWorld ante in the Cobra Eel is Mark II Designs Rifle Pack. Look at that. Tremendous. Just adds way more value. Of course, the oversized gear backpack. If you remember from the cover out how ridiculous it looked. But yeah, looking forward to the retro releases, much like the Snow Serpent, which almost made the list, but just didn't. Next up is Moody's Female Classified Figure of the Year. It's Agent Helix. Although the Crimson Strike Team Baroness was a very close second, if it wasn't for the QC issues, which I've replaced so far, I've got a new Helix, so she's looking much better. But if it wasn't for that, this definitely would have made my top 10. It wasn't quite the knockout year for female figures for Classified like we had the year before with Zorana making the top 5. But that said, love Agent Helix, love how she stands out on the shelves and all the cool Mantis weapons and everything the team did. All right, exploding into the honorable mentions is Scrap Iron. As you can see, he's got the cool ass drone and i love what the team did with that one maybe the tracks could have articulated as the legs do but other than that scrap iron this figure is tremendous amazing one of the best face sculpts in the game there's no doubt if not the best of the year love what they did with this character never had it as a kid so wasn't on my super to go get list of course i'm all in on the line no matter who it is but they definitely did a wonderful job looks cool with the visor and without but you can't go wrong either way with Scrap Iron. Definitely one of the best Cobras of 2023. Another one exploding or bombing up into the honorable mentions was Tripwire. Look, I didn't get a whole lot of time with Tormag Skoog when I finally got him. But I can't argue with folks who have this deluxe figure on the list. You can have three or four different appearances taking off the body armor and whatnot and just the versatility probably worth an army build i only kept one but love what they did shout out to adam riches who absolutely fell in love with app sarah and his buddy mcleod but hey i did too i got the same pose bud so yeah that definitely i really wish i had gotten this figure early and really appreciated it a little more and got a little more in-depth review but it definitely deserves an honorable nom all right, and finally, this one wasn't even on my radar until I realized how dope it was doing the live stream with the boys, and they convinced me that carded V1 Snake Eyes was absolutely the best retro figure of the year. So dope. Definitely love how that gray appears, especially on camera, like an OD green. Super pops, and definitely captures the v1 snake eyes i think the one thing holding this back is that we just already get three thousand snake eyes but everything about it is just super faithful and wonderful definitely deserved an honorable mention all right it's top 10 time coming in from the darkness is low light what a sleeper hit this guy was very low key figure very faithful to the og is mr cooper g mcbride Cooper's sculpt looks really good, and Han, I know people worried about that dazed, kind of sleepless look, but I love it. And also the sniper rifle case is fantastic and functional, full of detail, just all the way around. They killed it. They did great. Loving everything. He's really just 
subtly wonderful four and a half out of five whiskeys for low light. And also taking the plunge into number nine, it's Torpedo, the Navy SEAL, Edward Leloja. Love this guy. Another one of those great face skulls. Perfectly captures his heritage. Just tremendous. I, I, I think it's one of those things where Torpedo released early in the year and it's kind of like you forget it. I make that, always make that analogy about like the early video game everyone played and stopped playing in the summertime for the new new stuff. But yeah, just tremendous. Obviously, we're getting some Navy soldiers out of this, a 60th line. So looking forward to that. But can't go anything less than four and a half out of five for Torpedo. We're still in the Navy at number eight. Tector Delgado Shipwreck, a.k.a. Moodwreck. Uh, if you watch Punk or my channel, then you'll get the reference. Another four and a half out of five figure. Another one that released early in the year. Uh, Polly even looks awesome. I know people had a problem with the peg, but then look, it fits right into the rope. Tattoos look good. They did a wonderful job with the wash on the jeans people were worried about, but just a tremendous figure. It's crazy because Shipwreck is so popular, but everyone was asking for a Navy SEAL version. You got to get the OG version out of the way, but another sleeper hit. And isn't it crazy? We're at number eight, nine and 10 are getting basically nine out of tens from me, from me. Yeah, that's how amazing this line is. And there were probably, there were definitely figures that almost got a four and a half that didn't even make any of this list. So what a year for G.I. Joe Classified. Rolling in, it's Henry Nod. It's the Dreadnought Ripper. Love this dude. Straight up, one of the best sculpts yet. Hey, what do you know? The sunglasses stay on. Can you believe it? Smiley face contact is there on the left. Teardrop tat, the superb Bohawk mullet. Sick tats all the way around and he's very close to the 85 version with the nice camo tank top minus the torn half shirt you know he's got the grenades a knife sheath everything like there chain on the belt our jaws of life the articulated version and then <laughs> at first i didn't realize this was an xmlr with a sith very cool look right there and overall just another nine out of ten knocks it out of the park dreadnought rip Coming in hot, it's Hawk at number six, Clayton Abernathy. Pretty much perfect out of the box, let me tell you. Minus maybe a weapon or two. But where's that classic revolver, guys? Come on, get the leather jacket, get the worn effects from the dry brush and everything. But what's with these uh, drop-down shoulders? I Moody missed them in his review. What the heck's going on over here? Anyway... Love the dude. Four and a half dash 4.75 for my guy Clayton Abernathy, a.k.a. General Hack. All right, top five time, and now we're going top five with Top Gun. It's so, oh, it's, um okay, it's a Maverick Firefly. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, as you can see, that's what I did with my Cobra Island Firefly. It's kind of a weird, he's somewhat of a pilot but then you can use this drone to fly him up and you can just shoot i don't know pretty cool stuff kind of matches the vest but that ain't the firefly we're talking about we are using more gridiron and if this was a firefly we got right away he'd be a perfect five whiskeys probably top at the list you know hey but better late than never love it the gridiron saboteur loadout makes him the ultimate firefly definitely want to showcase that Although I'm not using that collar bandolier, I like what they did right here with the OG. And I'm not going to use the welding goggles that were provided in the set. I do like this infrared technology here with the night vision goggles and everything. But the OG backpack that we got here is great with red iron. Love the torch tanks. The tool drawer, of course, opens and you got a bomb box with explosives. Got the rucksack above that. Nice touches all the way around, but it's all about the green UMP. You got the removable muzzle brake. Definitely gives you those classic Firefly vibes with that folded stock. Doesn't fold on here, but love it. Just an awesome Firefly. Go get yourself a Saboteur set and make yourself an Ultimate Firefly. Still 4.75, even without the gear. And number four, it's Grunt, and you get a Grunt. And you get a grunt, and you get the grunt, Robert Graves, and he's got his grunt clones with him. 
Gotta love it, of course, because it says Robert Graves right on that name tag. Just a great two-in-one character slash troop builder. Only real minus, can't change that nameplate unless you want to use some Q-tip, some paint thinner or whatever like that. But just overall, superb sculpt for Robert. Looking perfect, looking great. Awesome army deco. Got the Sunbow XMLR. Of course, I'm equipping them with all these cool guns and saving the XMLR for someone special at the end. I love what they did. The M16, if it isn't warped, it's pretty good. Overall, love him. He's almost perfect. 4.75 dash 5 out of 5 for Grun. Number three, it's top three time. Top three, it's time to rock and roll. We've got our dude Craig McConnell, an early favorite all year for best classified Joe until another bearded bro was released. He, at the end of the day, Mr. Rock and Roll himself is the definition of classified. We talked about that on the show. I totally agree with B's Battlegrounds. Just hanging 10. He is just the amalgamation of every rock and roll we've ever wanted. It's the modern day version, whether it's V1, V2, this is it. I don't even know. Do you even do a V1, V2 at this point? Let me know in the comments what kind of rock and roll you want to see next. But Maybe more armory would have given him a better score. Seems cool that they got the changeable hands and everything, but minus that, we didn't get a whole lot with him. But that said, he's damn near perfect. 4.75-5 from a man rock and roll at number three. Now it's a pair of two at number two, Mutt Junkyard. Stanley Pearl Mutter with his little Mutt Junk. Love the options, multiple options on the look. Of course, the multiple hand signals for the Pooch Patrol Control Junkyard is so awesome. The only thing missing from this dynamic pair was probably an alt subtle chill mutt mug he just looks pissed the whole time of course i added that mac 10 and maybe some dog treats let's give a little bit of love to junk but other than that these guys are damn near perfect so happy we got them just in time for the end of the year 4.75 dash 5 out of 5 number two from mutt and junkyard Number one, Snow Job Harlan W. Moore. The only thing missing from the guy is what he's got in his hands right now, the XMLR. Of course, if you get multiple grunts, I think they were like 15 bucks or something. You can toss him one, there's no problem. Uh, it didn't come with a nice pick or a grapple hook. That probably would have been nice. But look, hard to complain when he comes with all this and all of it fits on his person. As you can see, the skis just awesome all the way around loving the translucent goggles the browns really pop nice decision that was made all with that traditional white and black garb that face sculpt with the robert redford inspired just awesome all the way and loving the accents they gave to the skis the tac 50 sniper rifle is a nice one um i just have so many snipers at the moment but i do love the gun that came with it just overall Snow Job was well worth the deluxe price. Perfect five out of five whiskeys. Moody's top G.I. Joe classified of the year. Well, that's going to do it for yet another top 10 best action figure list. Of course, this was the G.I. Joe classified. Signing off is Travis Moody, and we'll see you in the 12. We'll also see you Wednesday for our most anticipated G.I. Joe classified figures for 2024 with the Art of Shark. So don't miss that one at our usual time, 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 o'clock Eastern. And we'll be there on Wednesday. See you then. Happy New Year. Catch you later.